Hey guys, welcome back to another product showcase video. Today we'll be checking out the Morales NFT CDN API in a bit more detail. This is perfect for those of you wanting to display NFT metadata and in particular images. So working with NFT images and artwork can be a bit of a nightmare. They're often hosted on IPFS networks or third party hosting services that can be unreliable, slow, and in some instances, even rate limit you. In other cases, you're working with the original artwork that might be hundreds of megabytes in size, so it takes time to download. Sometimes metadata and the artwork may get deleted. This is especially true on centralized services, meaning you can't render anything. And in some extreme cases, your site might even appear as suspicious or antivirus pop-ups might display to a user because anyone can put anything as the metadata. So this opens you up to potential phishing and scam attacks via dangerous URLs people insert into the metadata. This is something we've seen with our own customers, which is why we've built this feature out. So it really is a no-brainer to learn more about this feature, see how it works, understand the benefits and start utilizing it because it's not only going to speed up your app and improve your, app, your UX, it also adds an extra layer of security. So in this little demo app, we'll be fetching NFTs by collection. And on the left hand side, they'll be rendered from the source URL, which in most cases is IPFS. And on the right hand side, they'll be served via the Morales CDN. So if we go ahead and fetch these, we can see instantly on the right hand side, all NFT images are served up instantly via Morales. On the left hand side, many of these are still downloading. Others haven't even started. For these ones downloading, we can make the assumption that these are, are, are large source files, probably hundreds of megabytes in size, so they're, they're just taking a while to download. For the ones that haven't even started, this could be as a result of rate limiting, so our request is in the queue, but who knows when it's going to get processed. Our CDN not only serves up content super quickly, it also gives you three images for every NFT image. So for each NFT, you'll get a low medium and high resolution version of the the image or artwork, meaning different parts of your app can display and render different sized images. So you can really tailor and improve the UX. So for instance, on a, a page like this, where you're displaying 10, 20, or even hundreds of NFTs, you can opt to display the low resolution. So they'll load really quickly. If a user clicked into one of these to get the full data, they could look at the higher resolution, or you could even render the original artwork so they see the full detail. If we check out another example, let's go with a mutant ape. We can see again, right hand side, Morales loads instantly. Still a number of these that are partially downloaded or haven't started to download. Same sort of story. If we check out one more collection, my my favorite beans. So shout out to any beans watching. We fetch these NFTs. We can see again, Morales instantly returns all the artwork. Whereas the source, which is most likely IPFS, is pretty slow. Even for artwork that as cute as beans are, they're pretty simple. The artwork is is not as complex as some of the other images we saw originally where the, the file was 100 of megabytes in size. So even with relatively simple artwork, there's huge gains to be made here. So on our doc site, we have this NFT image previews page, which explains a bit more about the feature, how it works, what formats are supported, the endpoints it's on, as well as some information about the different statuses you might see. If we check out one of these, the NFT NFTs by contract, which is what we're using here. So fetching all NFTs for a given contract, you can see there's a media items query parameter here. By default, this is off. If you specify true, then through the API, you'll be returned with an additional media object, which is what we see here. And it's in this object, you'll see the low, medium and high resolution files along with the source original file. So whatever your use case is, you, you can pick whichever image suits you best. 
So that's it for now. That's just a quick overview of this feature, how important it is, how beneficial it is. Would love your feedback. Additionally, if there's any other suggestions on what parts of Morales or the product you would like us to do a, a, a subsequent product showcase on, drop a comment below and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.